you ready? I'm not going to be nice to you today. <laughs> sure. I mean, I figure we might as well give the people a show. You know what I mean? I, I guess so, man. I'm in the If you guys want to see me grill Mike, go ahead and smash that like button. Get us to, <laughs> get us to 700 likes real quick. I'll take the gloves off. I'm going to grill Mike. You ready, man? Yeah, I'm ready. I want you to give a real strategy for how these people can make the most out of their smaller accounts or accounts below PDT. What are some real world strategies for them to grow their accounts? Now, here's the thing. If you feed them a bunch of BS that's already been regurgitated, I am going to challenge you on it because why not? Yeah, sure. I mean, the answer, the right. answer is the answer is the answer. Uh, well, yeah, um, we'll see. Let's go. You know, when people have small accounts, now we have to talk about two different types of accounts because you have someone that may have a a cash account with let's say twenty thousand dollars in it, or someone that has a cash or has a cash account with let's say eight hundred bucks in it. What I will, what I would suggest to people. If you are, depending on what your risk tolerance is, if you have a larger amount of money, if you have like, let's say 20 grand in your account, but you're only, you know, your risk tolerance is maybe a hundred bucks or something like that. You may be able to trade some of these mid cap stocks without needing margin. Just depends on the price point of the stocks that you're trading. Like if you're trading 20, 30, $40 stocks, you might be able to get yourself into um, a couple hundred share positions without needing margin to be able to get into a position and only risk whatever your risk tolerance is, let's say a hundred bucks or something like that, whatever your risk tolerance is, whatever you're comfortable risking per trade. But for people that have smaller accounts, like a thousand bucks, 500 bucks, you need to learn how to trade options. And I suggest that those people that have those smaller accounts, my advice to them is learning how to trade options. We have tons of courses on trading options. We have workshops on trading options. We have moderators that specifically focus on trading options and day trade options first. Before you start swing trading them, day trade them. Swing trading options carries more risk because of time decay. So learn how to day trade options first and go after the lower volatility options. When you have a small account and you're under, and you know, you're not dealing with like a margin account, right? Let's say you have 500 bucks or a thousand bucks, do a cash account because a cash account, you can make as many day trades as you want. You just, as long as you have the cash available in your account to use. So you're not bound under PDT rule. If you have a thousand dollar account, make it a thousand dollar cash account. You'll only be able to trade with a thousand bucks. You won't get margin, but you can make as many day trades as you want. And the thing about options is the cash that you use to trade an option clears in your account the next day. So day trade options, the cash will be available, will clear in one day. So you can keep day trading. And if you're trading options, look for the cheaper options on lower volatility stocks. Don't trade options in Tesla. Don't trade options in Etsy. Don't trade options in Goldman Sachs. Don't trade options in Enphase. Those are going to be very, very expensive options. Those options are going to cost you six, seven, eight, ten, twelve dollars a contract. That's way too expensive for you. One contract on an $8 option is going to cost you 800 bucks. That's too much if your account only has $500 in it. So look for lower volatility stocks like the airlines, the cruise lines, the banks. These are the electric vehicles, not Tesla, like NIO, XPeng. Like these are General Motors, Ford. These are stocks whose option contracts will be a dollar, 65 cents, 85 cents. And that way, even though you only have 500 bucks in your account, you can buy 10 option contracts, five option contracts of some of these options and capitalize on 20, 30, 40, 50, 60% moves and not be bound to the PDT rule. This way you can start growing that account little by little till eventually you can start trading $3, $4, and $5 option contracts. But first, start with the cheaper options on the lower volatility names and day trade options. All right. So I hope that helps answer the question. That was pretty good. Thank you. What would you say to someone that's intimidated of trading options? What I would say to somebody that's intimidated of trading options, I mean, you know what? Good. 
because that means you're going to be careful and you're not going to just throw crap against a wall and hope that it sticks. There's risk in the market, folks. You're going to put, you're going to put your money into an option contract. You could lose it. So you need to, you, you, you should have that type of, you should understand that before you start putting your money into the stock market, learn how to trade options first. Now options are fantastic because there is such a higher potential reward percentage wise, but with that higher that higher potential percentage gain comes higher potential percentage risk. Options can either triple your account. They can also end your account and blow it up. Understanding proper risk management trading options is crucial. So, which is why I suggest that people don't just start trading options with no idea what they're doing. Get educated on them first. I promise we'll teach you guys how to trade options as members of True Trading Group. We have option courses. We have option workshops and seminars. We have moderators that focus on options. We have a simulator that lets you trade options and stocks with fake money so you can practice implementing what you're learning. There's no additional cost for that. It's included with your membership. Use it, right? Practice, make mistakes with fake money before you make mistakes with real money. And once you guys learn how options work, they're not the same as stocks. There's a lot of other factors that go into the price of an option that don't affect the price of a stock. You have to understand these things. And I promise you'll understand it as a member of TTG. If you're overwhelmed by it now, don't be. You have a lot of members in your trading group that never traded an option a day in their life. And now they're making money trading options. If they can do it, so can you, bottom line. But learn first, trade second. You answered that really well. Thank you. I, I, was, ex I was expecting not such a good answer. <laughs> So this is like underwhelming. What would you say to someone that works a full-time job? And yeah, we know, and, and here's the deal. Yes, you can mention the mobile app. You could talk about how our mobile app can help them, you know, to ensure that they're, that they stay connected, so on and so forth. But what do you suggest? Do you suggest that every time they want to place a trade, if they don't want their boss to know, they got to run to the bathroom and do it in the stall? Do you suggest that they do it at their desk? What do you suggest? So this is a topic that I go over quite often, actually, when I do one-on-one -on -one mentor sessions with members. And one of the things that we we strive to, to do in TTG is help members find their trader identity and help them find a trading style that works for them. There are two major factors in determining a person's trading style. And that's going to be their personality traits and their work schedule. How much time do you have to be in front of a computer, if any at all? Do you have to trade from your phone or can you be sitting at your desk and trade from a computer? Does your work day, is it a routine schedule or does your time and lack thereof change day to day, depending on what's happening. Everybody has a different, different job and different schedules during the day. People are in different time zones. We have members into training group from all over the world. We have members in Japan, Australia, Hong Kong, India, Russia, the Netherlands, Italy, UK, Brazil, Chile, Argentina, Canada. We have members all over the world in all Hawaii, all different time zones. So, you have to find a strategy that works best for you. That's one of the biggest problems that a lot of beginner traders have is they go on YouTube. They say, let me find someone that said they made 10 grand today. Okay, I'm going to follow that person. Well, it might not be possible for you to follow that person, depending on what your work schedule is like. You might not be able to make the same trades that they're making. You have to find what works for you. Depending on your schedule, you may have to become a swing trader, which would be you enter a trade, maybe in the morning before you, before you go to work, maybe you're on the West coast and you can trade at six 30 in the morning because you have to be at work at nine and the market opens at six 30 for you. Maybe you can get yourself, maybe you can day trade for the first two hours of the day. And then you got to go and you have to go to work. Well, then you're going to be a day trader for the first two hours, but then maybe you turn into a swing trader then for the rest of the trading session, or maybe you're sitting at your desk and you're at your desk all day long and you can have your charts up on your computer. And that way, then you can just be a day trader and because you're at your desk all day and you can monitor your positions. Or maybe you're a police officer and you're driving around in the car and you can't be in front of your computer and you have to enter a trade, set a stop loss, 
and then set a price alert so that you get notified when a stock reaches your profit target. So then you can log in in your phone when you have time, take profit, adjust your stop loss, set another price alert for your next profit target, and then go back amongst your, 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 your work day. So that answer, the, the answer to the question that you're asking is not a defined clear answer because everyone is different. So when you guys join to your training group, you're going to work very closely with the moderators to fit. And listen, that's why there's nine professional traders that are mods into training group. We all have different styles. One of our moderators actually only trades specifically from his cell phone. He does not trade from, from a computer, you know, trade station. Okay. So everyone in true training group has a different style. Swing traders, day traders, momentum traders, continuation traders. Okay. Option traders, stock traders, future traders. We have something for everybody in TTG. So as, as much as I would love to give you one answer for, Hey, if you have a full-time job, this is what you should do. I can't because depending on what your full-time job is, will determine what strategy you implement. That's why you can't just go on YouTube and say, oh, look, this person made 10 grand. I'm going to follow them. It might not be possible for you to follow them. So finding your identity is extremely important. A lot of people, like if you're trying to implement a strategy that's impossible based on your work schedule, you're trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's never going to work. How long does it typically take for somebody to find their trader identity? Totally depends. Okay. Um, well, do you, do you or, or let, me, let, me, let me ask this a better way. How important is it that people come in and find it as quickly as possible? It's the difference. Which, it could be the difference between you failing or being successful. Because here's what happens. Most people don't have endless amounts of money to keep putting into a trading account as they lose it. So most people, they open up an account, they put money into it, they go on YouTube, they find somebody that made 10 grand or 20 grand or showed you they made a million bucks. And you're like, wow, I'm going to do exactly what this person does. You try to do what that person does. You can't, even though they're making money, you're losing money. You can't figure out how. And that, that's when people say, oh, trading's a scam. It's not a scam. You're just trying to implement a strategy that is physically impossible for you to implement and you're going to lose money. And then you lose money. You blow up your account because you're trying to implement a strategy that will never work for you. If you're following a trader that gets in and out of trades within minutes. Well, guess what folks? If you're a school teacher and you're teaching a classroom full of 10 year olds, you can't get in and out of a trade within three minutes if you're teaching a lesson. So that person might make a thousand bucks. You can't. It's so important for you to find your trader identity early because otherwise you're just gonna bleed your account to zero and then you're gonna quit. And it's not, it's not an accurate representation of your ability as a trader. You're just trying to do something that you will never be able to accomplish because it's not possible. That's why it's so important for you to find a strategy that works for you. You got to give yourself a real chance. Otherwise they try, they try, they try square peg, round hole doesn't fit. They blow up their account and then they quit. You're quitting because that strategy doesn't work for you. But maybe you might actually have been a million dollar swing trader but you'll never know. I mean, honestly, you, you nailed the questions. I was really hoping to grill you a little bit more, but. <laughs> uh, dude, I, listen, I, I love the hot seat because, you know. This you, is not the hot seat. This is lame. <laughs> well, you know what it is? I mean, th these are the questions that a lot of people have, a lot of people have, and a lot of people want to ask. And, you know, I just, I'm confident in, in, in what we do here. You know, I'm confident in, in what we teach. I'm confident in what we preach. I'm confident in, in what we provide as a service and as a platform and as a program. It's no different than, you know, when a, when a college student has a final exam, you know, you're, if you know the material, you're not nervous about the exam. If you don't know what you're doing, you're nervous. If, if I didn't know what I was doing and I wasn't confident in, in my abilities as, as an educator and my abilities as a trader, then I would be sweating bullets not knowing what questions you're going to be asking me if I'm going to look like a fool trying to answer them and trying to sound like I know what I'm doing. I know what the hell I'm doing. I know what the hell I'm talking about. I've been doing this for a very long time and I've been able to help thousands of traders find success. So I have no problem answering the toughest questions you can throw at me.